Vaishali, Vasali or Vashali was a city in present-day Bihar, India and is now an archaeological site. It is a part of the Turret Division. It was the capital city of the Vijayan Confederacy of Virji Mahajanapada, considered one of the first examples of a republic around the 6th century BCE. Gautama Buddha preached his last sermon before his death in C. 483 BCE, then in 383 BCE the Second Buddhist Council was convened here by King Kalasoka, making it an important place in both Jain and Buddhist religions. It contains one of the best preserved of the pillars of Ashoka, topped by a single Asiatic lion. Vaishali is also home to possibly the earliest known example of a stupa, the Buddha relic stupa which is said to contain the ashes of the Buddha. The city finds mention in the travel accounts of Chinese explorers, Faxian and Xuanzang, which were later used. In 1861 by British archaeologist Alexander Cunningham to first identify Vaishali with the present village of Basa in Vaishali district. Bihar. Vaishali derives its name from King Vishal of the Mahabharata age. Stupa at Vaishali the Viji or Virji Mahajanapada, 600 BCE. Abhishek Pushkarini, the coronation tank, near Buddha relic stupa, Vaishali even before the advent of Buddhism and Jainism, Vaishali was the capital of the Republican Likavi state. In that period, Vaishali was an ancient metropolis and a capital city of the Republic of the Vaishali state, which covered most of the Himalayan Gangetic region of present-day Bihar state, India. However, very little is known about the early history of Vaishali. The Vishnu Purana records 34 kings of Vaishali, the first being Nabaga, who is believed to have abdicated his throne over a matter of human rights and believed to have declared, I am now a free tiller of the soil, king over my acre. The last among the 34 was Sumati, who is considered a contemporary of Dasaratha, father of the Hindu god, Lord Rama. Vaishali is also renowned as the land of Amrapali, the great Indian courtesan, who appears in many folktales, as well as in Buddhist literature. Ambapali became a disciple of Buddha. Manyadev was a famous king of the illustrious Lichavi clan of the Confederacy, who desired to possess Amrapali after he saw her dance performance in Vaishali. A kilometer away is Abhishek Pushkarini, the coronation tank. The sacred waters of the tank anointed the elected representatives of Vaishali. Next to it stands the Japanese temple and the Vishwashani stupa built by the Nippon Zanmai Ohoji sect of Japan. A small part of the Buddha's relics found in Vashali have been enshrined in the foundation and in the katra of the stupa. Near the coronation tank is stupa 1 or the relic stupa. Here the Leichdavis reverentially encased one of the eight portions of the master's relics, which they received after the Mahapara Nirvana. After his last discourse the awakened one set out for Kashinagar, but the Likavis kept following him. Buddha gave them his alms bowl but they still refused to return. The master created an illusion of a river in spate which compelled them to go back. This site can be identified with Diora in modern Kizariah village, where Ashoka later built a stupa. Ananda, the personal attendant of the Buddha, attained nirvana in the midst of the Ganges outside Vashali. A Buddhist shrine amidst the Vihara, Vashali Vaishali is well known for its close association with the Buddha. After leaving Kapalavastu for renunciation, Prince Siddhartha came to Vaishali first and undertook his initial spiritual training from Uddaka Ramaputta and Alara Kalama. After the Enlightenment the Buddha frequently visited Vaishali. He organized the Sangha on the pattern of Vaishalian democracy. It was here that he first allowed females to join the Sangha, initiating his maternal aunt Ma Prajapati Gotami into the order. His last Varshavasa was here and he announced his approaching Ma Parinirvana just three months in advance. Before leaving for Kusanagara, where he died, he left his alms bowl here with the people of Vaishali. Prince Vardhaman used this seal after the judgment the Svetambara state that the final Tirthankara, Lord Mahavira, was born and raised in Kshatriyakan district, Vaishali to King Siddhartha. And Queen Trishala. According to Jain text Uttaraparana, King Chetaka ruled as a Republican president in Vaishali and was a famous and complacent king. He is mentioned as a staunch follower of Jainism. According to the text, Chetaka had ten sons and seven daughters. His sister Priyakarini was married to Siddhartha. His daughter Shellana married Shrenik. As per Indologist Herman Jacobi, Vardhaman Mahavira's mother Trishala was sister of King Chetaka. Vashali was also the residence of Khandra Masuka and Patika Pada. Near the coronation tank is Stupa 1 or the relic Stupa. Here the Likavis reverentially encased one of the eight portions of the master's relics, which they received after the Mahaparinirvana. After his last discourse the Buddha set out for Kashinagar, 
but the Lakavis kept following him. The Buddha gave them his alms bowl but they still refused to return. He then created an illusion of a river in spate which compelled them to go back. This site can be identified with Diora in modern Kizariya village, where Ashoka later built a stupa. As per recent research, the relic stupa is potentially one of the earliest archaeologically known stupas. Kutagarasala Vihara is the monastery where Buddha most frequently stayed while visiting Vashali. It is located 3 kilometers from the relic stupa, and on its ground can be found the Ananda stupa, with an Ashokan pillar in very good condition, and an ancient pond. A few hundred meters from the relic stupa is Abhishek Pushkarini, the coronation tank. The sacred waters of the tank anointed the elected representatives of Vashali. Visvasanti Stupa next to the coronation tank stands the Japanese temple and the Visvasanti Stupa built by the Japanese Nichiren Buddhist sect Nipponzan Myohoji. A small part of the Buddha's relics found in Vaishali have been enshrined in the foundation and in the katra of the stupa. The Vaishali Museum was established in 1971 by the Archaeological Survey of India to preserve and display the antiquities found during the exploration of sites around ancient Vaishali. Vimalakirti, 8th century wall painting, Dunhuang Vaishali at Wikipedia's sister project Sunakata Sutta, to Sunakata Mahasayanata Sutta, The Great Discourse on the Lion's Roar. Thanks for watching.